What's up YouTube? Today we're going to be talking about my favorite t-shirt mock-up template and I'm going to show you how to use it. Let's go. All right, today I'm going to show you guys my favorite Photoshop t-shirt mock-up template. I have been using this thing, I don't know, for maybe four years now, way before I got it to merch by Amazon. I love this thing because it's easy to modify. It has a nice little wrinkle to prevent theft. Y'all know how I've had to deal with some theft and I'm sure a lot of you guys have too. Ooh, so annoying. So what I like about this template, it has three views. It has a front view, it has a back view, and it has a folded view. And each view has different color options and even a heather option so I'm gonna show you how it works so if you're not familiar with Photoshop you're gonna first open it up and open this PSD file and I will link to this file in the description and you want to make sure that you have your layers window open so go up to window and make sure layers is checked because this is how you control and modify this template It's super super easy so the first thing you're gonna do is figure out what view you want to use so for the sake of this video we're gonna use the front view now when you first open this up you're gonna see the template looking like this and they tell you right here to hide this info this is just the placeholder text that they put in there so I'm gonna toggle this little eyeball here next to the the layer title and it hides that so now we're gonna put our artwork somewhere in here it doesn't have to be right here on this layer it can be above it just as long as it's in here so I'm gonna open up my artwork I got this little colorful butterfly here and I'm gonna grab the move tool so I'm gonna click V on my computer keyboard and drag over to the tab and I'm gonna drop it right here. Now it's too big so I'm gonna do Command T or Control if you're on Windows and I'm gonna do Option Shift or Alt Shift if you're on Windows and I'm gonna size it down. But right away you guys, look at how the wrinkles are coming through which really, really does help with deterring theft. Hey Amazon, are you watching this? This is how you do a wrinkle template. You guys, I don't know, maybe Amazon is just afraid that if it's too much of a wrinkle that people won't buy but i think their wrinkle is actually a joke depending on where my image falls on the shirt sometimes the image can be lifted right up without uh disturbing or without hitting the wrinkles now some designs depending on where they fall on the shirt like i've noticed if they fall like right underneath the arm and over enough to the left and the right the wrinkle will hit it just right to sort of protect it but some designs if they don't hit that area it's like somebody can still grab it. So I, I, I don't know if they're afraid to make too much of a wrinkle. I don't know, but it's annoying. But this is, in my opinion, a much better template. So you could use this on your website. You could use it for Pinterest if you'd rather post the actual mock-ups of the shirt instead of the image. I tend to promote the image itself more so, but I do both. It just seems to me that the images without the mock-up get clicked more, but this is a wonderful template to use for your blog or website. But notice how the wrinkles come in very nicely and you can move it around wherever you want it to protect it even more. And now you can come down here, let's say you want a heather effect and so you want this to be like a black heather. All you do is just check this and notice you get the little heather effect. So I can toggle that on and off. And there are also colors for each section. So if I want this to be an orange background, I can do that. And if I want it to be a heather orange, I come up and click heather. It's very flexible. And then even down here at the bottom, if you don't like this little gradient background they have here, you can just right click, blending options, color overlay, and then just change whatever color you want for the background. So it's very, very flexible, it's free, it's been out here for forever, I have been using it, as I said, for a long time. Make sure you check it out, go to the description, there's a link there, and have fun.